I heard in November that there was a lone pelican again. Bird watchers are always on the lookout for a rare sighting, and one Calgary photographer has spotted an unusual bird with a very unique story. John Riesbeck has taken many photos of this American white pelican who lives at Frank Lake, just south of Calgary. The species isn't supposed to endure winters like ours, though, but an injured wing has forced her to endure three so far. The bird has now been named Elsa by the bird community, fondly after the movie Frozen, because of its strong will to survive our cold. I heard in November that there was a lone pelican again. So I went to Frank Lake. I took pictures, you know, a couple of good pictures of uh, Elsa flying. Um, and even though she couldn't f uh, fly far, she was flying not too bad, but not enough so that she thought she could migrate, presumably. Although, who knows what a pelican thinks. <laughs> According to the Alberta Institute for Wildlife Conservation, the species migrates to the Pacific or Mexico in the winter. Riesbeck is intrigued by her strength and travels to see her often. One thing led to another and I started doing this every three or four days uh, throughout the winter. A notable photo he's taken appears to capture Elsa practicing yoga. She was stretching her bad wing, the right wing. Uh, and the leg on that side. And I, I know that she stretches from time to time because she's trying to maintain flexibility, balance, just like yoga people. <laughs> the Alberta Birds community, with tens of thousands of people, relies on his updates. And because he visits Elsa so much, he's built a little bit of a bond. And then I'll be on the shore across from her and she'll turn her head so I can see both eyes. And she has binocular vision then. I, I wonder whether she recognizes me. Certainly she doesn't mind that I'm there. Riesbeck raised $1,400 for Ducks Unlimited Canada, which oversees Frank Lake. It's all given him a gladly welcomed purpose in his retired life. She's just my superhero. In Calgary, Taylor Brought, City News.